Aha. Well, then, um, let's see. The next thing that I remember clearly is um, we have the, uh, the situation with uh, Sammy. Yeah, uh, the dog. Then uh, I don't need to go into too much detail, but uh, all your guys' memories are correct. Uh, Sammy was a puppy. She hadn't been with us for a long time, but she was a beloved puppy um, and uh, was still so young, was so excited she'd meet us when we got off the school bus that took us out to the chicken ranch. Now this time again, dad was a, a manager of it, so he, uh, he got his own house, right? Yeah. We lived out on the chicken ranch. Um, with all that vast sand all around us. Um, so uh, Sammy would meet us at the bus and pee all over the ground in her excitement, you know. They're home, they're home. So we love the puppy. Yeah. And then Christmas morning, uh, 78, uh, I'm 17 years old. And um, yeah, the truck driver that was coming by that, that morning to do chicken feed, knocks yeah. on the roof and says, my memory is he said, did you have a little dog? Um, whatever he actually said, whatever it was, it indicated we don't have that dog anymore. Yeah. And we went outside, mom and me, uh, mom, mom raced ahead. She was barefoot. She was wearing her, her muumu, a satin muumu and boo hooing. She was just a mess. Uh, absolutely broken hearted. Sammy was crushed. Dad and I went out there and you know, we scraped him. Scraped no him pun intended. Up. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, we scraped him up off the road. Dad uh, teared up. Uh, I, I saw the time I could ever remember seeing him do that. Uh, and we went out, the two of us, um, and uh, dug a dirt, dug a hole in the backyard, and that you know it was frozen. It was, uh, yeah, it's California. It still gets cold. Yeah. And uh, and buried Sammy. And then uh, that night, we're watching TV, and I remember clearly seeing Sammy um, out of the corner of my eye, sitting there in the dining room table, uh, dining room chair underneath the table, just just panting, um, happy. And um, I said, Mom. And before I could say anything else, she goes, do you see Sammy? I said, yes, she's sitting in that chair. Mom's saying, yeah, I see her too. And uh, uh, mom did go out and get a dog uh, because we were seeing, uh, from my point of view, what I saw was a black shape, a, a darting black shape around yeah. the feet. Uh, I don't remember seeing Sammy very clearly except for that one time in the chair, but this black shape would move around our feet. And um, it would just startle you, you know, you weren't scared, it was Sammy. But uh, mm -hmm. really she had died so quick, she didn't know she was gone and was still in her house. So mom did go and get another dog and uh, to let Sammy know you're gone and to move on. And Sammy did disappear. And then mom got rid of the new dog because they didn't want, they didn't want a new dog. They took him back to the pound or wherever. Because, <laughs> you know, well animals, uh, animals were uh, disposable. Uh, yeah. You know, the Rainwater family growing up, which I've never understood. I've never understood that either. So um, I go to college and um, not much happens uh, there, but then I come back and the next scary things that happened were, so you remember we all had the big white house that had separate apartments built onto it. Yeah. Okay. And on one side of the house was a Baptist church. And if I remember right, it was a black Baptist church. Um, um, no. No? No, because I knew the pastor's son. He was white. Okay. I just always so thought it was the pastor wasn't black. What was that? Uh, the pastor wasn't black. It well, was... I thought the congregation was, though. Well, yeah, it's Georgia, though. I mean, yeah. So, you know, you, know, you remember the old yeah. saying, the, the most segregated uh, place in America is uh, the South on Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, but anyway, there was a church, and then right next to us, the gas station. And I remember sitting out there on my, uh, I had an apartment that was upstairs. So there was a main house. There was the main house with multiple bedrooms, a big, nice place, old, but you know, spacious. Uh, built onto it on the ground floor was a whole separate apartment that Jody lived in with her, uh, you know, infant son, uh, Joseph. Yeah. Um, and it was independent. It was amazing how they just built these separate places on there. 
And then they built a, uh, another apartment on top, two bedroom, bath, kitchen, living room. And you, uh, you could enter it from the outside. There's an outside staircase, as well yeah. as one on the inside of the main house that rose up to my place and you could uh, inside door there. So, um, and mom had convinced me to help pay for the rent. You know, we all moved there. It was like the big rainwater compound. <laughs> uh, so, and it, it worked, it, it, you know, it worked just fine. It was a, a nice thing. But uh, well, I, I remember that house. Um, my room uh, was right next to Jody's apartment. Okay. So my room, I lived, my room was in the middle of the house. I had no windows. Um, so I had, you know, other than my, my light, I, I had no light in that room other than the light bulb. Were you um, and Alex sharing a bedroom or were you? Uh, no, uh, I had it to myself. That's how big but, that place was. But, um, but it turned out to be haunted. So um, I remember coming home one night uh, and I at that point was working, say, a second shift. And I'd get off work at 11. And because it was a 22 mile drive home, I'd get home, say, about midnight or so. Um, and I remember when I come up the stairs, I walk into my place and I hear, uh, I hear somebody in my bathroom. There's clearly somebody in my bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they, they make a you know a knocking kind of sound, or you know they're they're walking, and I go I go into straight badass mode. You know I'm, what am I, 26, 25, and I'm like, whoever's here, you better come out now. I'll kick your ass, <laughs> <laughs> and nobody comes out. You know, and I I'm I'm like oh here we go here we go somebody's in this place they came to rob me, and so I walk into my bedroom and that's where my bathroom's off that that bedroom. And I throw that door open, and there's nobody there. So, uh, you know, I pull the curtain back, uh, the shower curtain, and there's nobody there. I can't figure out what happened. I said, okay, you know, I'm, I just heard something, and um, nothing's there. I go to sleep. The next morning, I went downstairs to have coffee with Mom and Dad to say hello, as I sometimes did, right? Mm -hmm. And Dad says to me, Ralph, what were you doing up there last night? I said, uh, Dad, I went to, went to sleep. <laughs> he goes, it sounded like you're moving furniture. We heard it most of the night. He says, I almost came upstairs and uh, uh, asked you, okay, could you rearrange something when we're not all asleep? I said, Dad, I can't explain that. Um, so they heard something too, that, but it lasted longer. Um, and the next thing I have, I, that, uh, they kept shifting my shifts at Bonnell. So mm -hmm. another time I'm working 12 hour days, that's uh, 7, 7 uh, p.m. to 7 a.m. And um, I, so I sleep during the day. So I'm asleep down there uh, in my bedroom and I hear a voice, a funny voice, like a joke voice say, open your eyes. And I'm, I'm sat asleep and I sort of look around and I'm like, Ugh, I just, you know, put my head back down. And the voice says, open your eyes. Now I sit up, I look around, I'm like, Alex, is that you? Because I'm thinking it's Alex out there at the screen door porch. Uh, yeah. Playing, playing right, around. Play and I'm a little irritated because I've got to sleep. I'm tired. Alex, is that you? There's no answer. I close my eyes. I lay my head back down. And now the voice says, not funny at all. I said, open them. Now I sit up and look, I sit up and look around. Wow. And I'm like, there's something here. There's something watching me. Well, the next thing that happens is, again, I'm sleeping during the day. And I become aware that there is a young boy who looks a lot like Chris as a child. Uh, but it's not Chris. Uh, it's like he's assuming a form. But I'm laying on my side, and I'm looking at the carpet. And there's this boy sitting there who's like seven or eight years old. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, I realize he's been talking to me and I'm tuning into what he's saying. And he's saying sort of monotonously and but repeating the same message. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you see me. I've been alone so long and I've had nobody to talk to. And now you see me and you can hear me. And I'm so happy. And I'm so glad that you're sitting here, that you're laying here listening to me. And I'm, as he's saying those things, wow. I'm aware that I'm, I'm not sure it's really happening. And uh -huh. so I say, 
because he looks a little bit like Chris as a, as a child. But remember, Chris at this point is graduated high school. You know, he's not a child anymore. And I'm like, uh, Chris, is that you? And um, the act of saying that woke me up, and I was laying on my side, looking exactly at the right at the area where that entity was. Yeah. And and spooked, you know. To this day, I'm pretty sure that that was uh, a ghost. And he took the form of, you know, he. I think I think it was a small a ghost child, and God knows what he really looked like. But uh, uh, I think he was genuinely happy that I was perceiving him. Wow. Yeah. Do do we should go back and look at the history of that house. And I don't think it's it's standing anymore. No, it's gone. Um, As a matter of fact, uh, was it Alex or Chris one speculated they thought the house might have been uh, a mortuary at one time because of its numerous rooms. Yeah, that's that's possible. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the 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 living room and dining room were huge, mm-hmm. um, and they're separated by the like the the sliding doors Um, that's right and so i I could see that being an area where they would have coffins and stuff um and separated you know um like that's where they would have the services the the wakes the whatever it had a a big um, it had a big um garage if you remember and i remember it being filled with stuff but um, uh, I think maybe it was Alex who said that the um, the garage could well have been used too uh, for you know it was big, a couple of hearses would fit in there. So 